Hey guys, Oz Gorillas here, and today we're going to do a video on fixing those dropped frames you're having for your Streamlabs OBS. Let's do it. Alright guys, first things first about this channel is we do streaming tutorials such as videos on how to use Streamlabs OBS, OBS and how to customize your Twitch channel or use Twitch in general. We do videos on design such as how to design your own sub badges and emotes and how to upload them. We also have a podcast called Talking Corner where we go over strategies for growing your stream as well as just having a lot of fun. Uh, if any of this interests you, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or come ask me live on my Twitch channel. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday on twitch.tv slash Come check it out. Cheers guys, let's get to the video. All right, so today we're gonna to go over three different ways that you can help stop your frames from dropping. Um, so the first one is the internet issue. So it could be the internet that is stopping you from streaming properly. So what you wanna do is make sure that you have your ethernet cables connected to your PC, and if you're streaming from an Xbox or PlayStation, try and get that hardwired as well. So that means ethernet cables in the back going to your router, and that will help with that. Another way to help if your internet is struggling is to drop the video bitrate. So you go to your settings here, which is in the bottom left, and then you go down to output, and then go down here, and you've got video bitrate 3000. So I usually run it at 6000, um, but you know if you are struggling with that, drop it. So the second way to do it is by dropping your resolution. So if you're having a hardware issue and you think your PC may be too old to run this, uh, to run the stream, you're gonna lower your video settings. So go back into your settings, bottom left, go down to video, and in the scaled resolution here, it's standard is at 1080. So you leave your base at 1080 because obviously all your overlays and that, you use them as 1080 drop the scale down. So I usually run at 1280 by 720, even though it could handle 1080. I do this as it's easier to view on phones and tablets and all that as well. Um, it uses less internet for the people who are watching. And you know, 1080, 720 is a huge difference on the platform anyway. If you're still struggling with this, you can drop, go down to here to common FPS values and drop that to 30. Um, not, you know, there's a bit of a difference there in viewing as well, but if it's the difference between dropping frames and having a smooth stream, definitely drop it to 30. If you're still having problem, problems, just keep dropping it until it's something there that can run without dropping frames for you. Other ways of doing this is to make sure you have all the applications closed in the background, except for your Streamlabs OBS and whatever else you're using, you know, to game with or stream with. Just keep it as low as possible to help drop the frames, to help not drop frames, I should say. So I usually run it at 60, um, but if you can't handle it, obviously keep dropping. And that brings us to our third one. The third one is the most uncomfortable, and that is probably that your PC cannot handle running a stream, um, which is very unfortunate. This just happens a lot with laptops, say, that don't have GPUs uh, or older systems. Um, that you just need to, you know, unfortunately that you're gonna have to spend money to get something else. Uh, and we don't like that. Obviously, you know, no one likes doing that when they think, you know, they've already got a computer, why would you wanna get another one? But unfortunately that can be the case sometimes. So say you've dropped all your settings down and nothing, you're still dropping frames, you know, having an issue, then you're probably gonna to need to get another PC. I know it's a bad topic. So I've linked down below in the description some, PCs on Amazon that will work for you. Like they could be more than what you're budgeting for, but there is stuff there. So the cheaper end of the spectrum, I've got ones that uh, if you're streaming from your PlayStation or Xbox and using a capture card to come across, PCs that'll work for that. I have another category in the description below that'll have PCs that'll run if you're all in one PC, like you're streaming and gaming from it. So these ones are obviously gonna be a lot more expensive because gaming and streaming at the same time is using a lot of resources on your PC, so you're gonna need quite a powerful PC. Um, especially if you're playing like COD or first person shooters or something highly graphic detailed. And if your stream is graphic detailed as well. Another thing to look out for, which I probably should have mentioned earlier, is your overlay. So if you have animated overlays, it's gonna use up more resources to run it. If you just have plain overlays, you know, very simple overlays, it's not going to use up as much. So try and keep things simple if you are struggling. Um, if you're not struggling, you, know, you can do whatever you want. So it's all on individual preference as well. So I hope 
that we can fix your dropping frames issues. Um, you know, feel free to comment below with any issues you have. Um, also, you can come into my Twitch channel, uh, twitch.tv forward slash ozgrillus, um, and ask me questions there as well. Anyway, you want to do it, Twitter. It's ogrillus on Twitter because someone forgot his name. And uh, yeah, so feel free to ask any questions you have, guys. And I really hope that it have solved your problems or at least helped you on the way to not dropping frames. All right, guys, well, that's the video there. Hope you learned something. Hope it helped you out. Um, if you watch a stream that is dropping frames and you think they need some help, just send them this video. Share this video with them. Uh, if you did like it, please like it. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Uh, we are pushing for more subscribers now. We've got 49 videos out, uh, which, you know, there's quite a lot of information there for streamers or people looking at starting to stream. Uh, so, you know, even if you've got friends, share my channel to them who are looking at streaming. Uh, just share it to them. I'd really appreciate it. And you guys have been awesome. And I hope you have a good one.